Hello everybody. Welcome to hopefully, hopefully, Lollipop Chainsaw. Um, I messed around a bit with different settings. I did the trick that made Street Fighter V work smoothly. And I don't know if it was a coincidence or whatever, but it seems like the game is actually playable now. So... We're gonna see. We're gonna see how well this works. If it works at least as well as Shadows of the Damned, we should be okay. Um, hello, Fac. Fac says bears. I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you mean there. Um, a Johnny Williamson. Williamson, sorry. Um. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so. The only thing is, for some reason, I can't seem to replay the introduction to the game. Uh, I could like start at the what they call the prologue, but I can't see the introduction. In Destroy Stadium, there's a random poster that says bears. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. That that's good. Um, yeah. So. I just booted up a video from YouTube so everyone could see the introduction because for whatever reason I couldn't get it to play again in the game, but let's watch that first. Real quick. There we go. Ah, welcome to my bedroom. Don't think that me letting you in here. They don't have subtitles on unfortunately, but stuff. I will. I mean, not that I have a problem with funny stuff. Especially not if you really like the person. But that isn't what I wanted to talk about. Today is, as they say in Spain, my cumpleaños. That's right, my birthday. Uh -huh. I'm 18 today. Oh, how convenient. She just turned 18. These are my girls on the Santa I wonder Santa why. Squad. We've gone to the Nationals three years in a row. But hey, look, James Gunn it. had something to do with this. To keep my energy up, I eat lollipops. I know what you're thinking. I you ever eat lollipops so to keep your energy up? Fat, but they're so yum. This is my family. It's a coming of age story, that's why. Is it? I don't know. I've, this is my first time she playing. Has a lot of secret meetings with guys I think are college scouts. That's right, she has sisters. My little sister Rosalyn just got her license, which makes me kind of think the DMV are idiots. My girlfriends say my dad is a total uh, dick. But try as they so as you know, Jay, my tongue, if I eat something with too intense she taste, my so tongue starts cool. to hurt. I didn't know that, it's but that's of unfortunate. Her, my sisters and I all wear our vaginas proudly. God, she and my dad love each other so much. Speaking of true love, this is my boyfriend, Nick. Her I boyfriend, the jock. I really like him. My family's throwing me a birthday party after school. Nick is totally hey, freaked out having to meet my family for the first time. But I'm even more freaked out for him is to her find dad out about Elvis? my family. Right, they have some dark amazing ever. backstory. Some of our traditions are a little... Well, they're unusual. fighting the, the... What is it called from Tekken? Dojin? Dojin? What is it called? One world's biggest weirdo, he Something. Something. I'd be so sad. I think I'd seriously cry for Uh. Oh no! I'm totally late! Okay, she's late for school. Well, she's late to meet her boyfriend before. I'm so late! And a bunch of zombos attacked! Nick isn't mad. That's about the worst thing that could ever happen! And you probably recognize the voice. Tara Strong, of course. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and... Boom. Uh, close this. Okay, so Donga said, are you playing this l Lola Poop Chainsaw because of the James Gunn and Suda tweet, or did you just feel like playing it today for no real reason? Believe it or not, Donga, it's a complete coincidence. I've been wanting to try to play this for a while now, and I could just never get it to work on the simulator. Um... And today I had a free day open, 
like I didn't have any other games planned and so I just tried it out again with some different techniques to try to get it to work and it seems like it's working now the menu itself wasn't even like working properly when I did when I tried this last time um I hope the audio is just down because I turned it down let me check real quick Um, that's not a good sign. I think this is supposed to be making sounds. Well, let's see. We'll go to the game start. Is it really going to do the same glitch that the Shadows of the Dam did where I have to, I have to reopen it? I turned the music off. Yeah, there's, there's supposed to be, oh no, there's supposed to be music here, but I turned the music off. So unfortunately we have to, uh, hey Christmas Elf. Oh, did... Did the boyfriend have Travis hair? I guess he kind of did, huh? Um, I have to play with the music off because the game is filled to the brim with copyright music. And most likely it will destroy my stream. I could try to play it. Like just have the music on. I don't care if I get to mon like if the video gets demonetized. Not like I really make much money off that anyways, but I'm more concerned about the stream just getting killed um we'll see if there's any sound here i have a feeling yeah there's supposed to be sound right here so uh we're gonna go ahead and reboot this then damn i guess it did the whoa it didn't crash that is new usually whenever i stop a game in this program it crashes so that's actually that's actually a step up. Play the No More Heroes soundtrack so you don't get copyright struck. That's a good idea. Um, but yeah, as soon as I started this game up, you just hear, uh, you just hear like Cherry Bomb playing. You know that song like, hello, mother, hello, dad. No, how does it go? No. <laughs> I don't know how the lyrics go. Hello, father. Hello, mom. Ch -ch 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 Cherry bomb. That song from like the 80s. Yeah, lollipop. Hey, Mickey. Lollipop, lollipop. Ooh, la that one. Uh, hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You know, I might have ac accidentally messed up. Look at how many things fail, by the way. Whenever I'm, I'm when I'm simulating a game, look at this. This is ridiculous. But I think I might have did this wrong actually, because I was supposed to. Um, I think the trick I did is I changed this to OpenGL to start the game, and then I switched it back to Vulcan once we got inside. Because I think when it's on Vulcan, the game won't open properly. But we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, and it's actually it's actually loading up the uh, shaders now since I actually got into the game this time. Johnny Williamson, I'll just say Johnny, says, uh, the underrated J reviews always having issues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So usually it's right after this, it, it'll fail. Oh, hang on. Program compiled six. Nope. Yeah, it, it broke. Yeah, thread terminated. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do the trick I did before, which I should have known to do that already, but I, uh, I wasn't thinking. Wow, it has a new version to update, <laughs> even though we just updated it like several hours ago. That's how often this thing updates. It's pretty silly. All right, so we're going to try that trick again. Boom. OpenGL. Isn't this so convoluted of what I have to do? And I think most the 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 main reason why 
is because my computer just isn't the recommended power level to deal with this. Um, unfortunately, I think you, what you want is to have a better graphics card and I have like the bare minimum to even attempt this. I have a 1050, what is it called? A 10, wait, why is it looking over there? Don't look over here, you wanna look? Um, why is the stream looking at the stream of the stream? Ah! Oh, it's cause I closed the game probably, hang on. Damn it. I feel like the way I got this to work was a, was a, just by a chance thing. Cause I actually was getting the game to work via the window display, uh, what do you call it? Capture window rather than display capture, but it was acting as a display capture. If that makes any sense, there we go. Boom. That's what we want. Because whenever we use display capture, that seemed to slow down things as well. So if we can trick it into using window capture, but it thinks it's doing display capture. Hey, Sally Acorn. What does the scouter say about your PC's power level? It ain't that impressed, let me tell ya. So, yeah, sorry, it takes a little while to boot this up. I'm surprised it's taking this long when it, when I barely got into the game though. I feel like Shadows of the Damned, it took a while before it actually got that, uh... There we go, look at it. There we go. There we go, baby. Uh-oh. Ah! Well, whenever I full screen the game, um... My YouTube th window vanishes. Oh no! Oh no! Uh... We can't have music playing. Hang on. Hey, K-Chan. I'm going to meet the game for you guys real quick. Wait, the music stopped. Hey, that's where the anim Animaniacs live. You're right. There we go. Now it remembered. But then the sound is there. Good. Good. That's, that's what we want. Can we full screen the game? Without making... Mmm. You know, it's fine. We could we could live with those little black bars around the screen. Right? We could live with some black bars now and again. So, uh, I just want to show you the difficulty screen. I like this. Easy is like chickens or roosters. The normal is like this zombie attached to plugs and then hard. It's electrocuted. Yeah, it's cinematic, exactly. All right. So here we go. Everyone cross your fingers. Prologue, All-American High School Girl. You chainsaw attacks on groggy zombies. Isn't that most of her attacks is the chainsaw? I feel like I should have a soundtrack playing in the background. I think I think Donga had a good idea. Oh, my God. oh the cutscenes are still gonna have music. As long as they're not copyrighted. Hey, look how smooth this cutscene's running though. That's that bodes well. Seriously. Okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> The main protagonist of this game is... what's her name? It's her. I forgot her name. Something... Summer? Stupid. 
dead. Douchebags. So there's gonna be a little lagging here and there for the cutscenes, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. OMFG, she say. Juliet Starling, that's it. So I believe this came out a year after Shadows of the Damned and a year before Killer is Dead. Oh, 3.4 GPA, that's pretty good. I think that's what my GPA was. Well, then now it sounds like I'm boasting, but for me that's that was amazing because I so I did really horrible in uh, high high school. Right, look at this though, it's working. It's working, ain't it? I believe she does kill a zombie or two, if I had to guess. But it said something, did you see that? There were like words. <coughs> Excuse me. So I guess we could saw this gate down. I'm just gonna circle to jump. That's different. Or you can roll. Okay, you can jump into a roll something. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. X to do a downward chainsaw. Square to do like melee. Cheerleader stuff? Thank you, Sully. Triangle to do like an upward chainsaw. And the triggers don't seem to do anything. The shoulder buttons. All right, here we go. I, I guess the game will probably teach us. Oh, Jesus! I think that was full of people. Jeez, it sucks when things explode. I need to find Nick. Okay, square for pom pom bashes. Okay. How to cook. Wow. So, when we see certain animations, they're gonna be really freezy the first time, and then hopefully they'll stop being freezy once the Put those shaders up, it should stop being so freezy, hopefully. I believe that's how that works. We won't know until we chop another, I assume, three zombies in a row again. No, that, that's kind of to be expected, fact. Why are these students dressed like it's the 50s? Now, do you have to kill these guys or can you just move on? Let's see. Oh, you just keep going. The helicopter will show up eventually. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh no no. Well yeah. Well the idea is fact once since the shaders are now lo preloaded, that animation should hopefully not break the game next time. That's that's generally the idea, but I don't know. So there's no dodge roll, huh? You can jump, but you can't like dodge. That's interesting. It's arcade, so you want to get a high score. Okay. Man. Uh. Oh, I never changed it back to Vulcan, did I? That might actually help. My bad. Let's do that real quick. Because Vulcan is supposed to be the, uh... Better... Thing to use. But for some reason, when I try to boot the game with it, it doesn't work. Alright, so let's see if this helps at all. I think the graphics just got worse. The resolution. <laughs> Alright, so we'll, we'll see if that helps at all. Hello? Kill zombie will tell you how many zombies you have left to kill. Oh. 
zombie jerks. I'll help you. I'll try to. And I hopefully won't fail like a Dead Rising mission. Should I just slash them? I don't really need I don't I, I it's gonna take me a little while to figure out the exact strategy here. I assume pom pom bashes will get them dizzy, but I'm not very efficient with it yet. Awesome. I'm still alive. Hey, awesome, I'm alive. Nice. Chop to shop dot zom. Look, the cutscenes are doing pretty well. She has donut like hair ties, I guess you call them. There's lollipop. I think we just lost our audio. But, oh no, we didn't. Good. Use it to refill health. Okay. Uh, you want to queue them up for multi-kill with chainsaw moves. Hair scrunches. There you go. Oh god. Your license should be revoked, bro. I, I feel like the cutscenes are going more smoothly now that I moved oh, to Vulcan. This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. Low slashes, hey, that's what they're for. Crawling start. zombies. Okay, good. And those guys get wrecked pretty easily. Yeah, because Vulcan, I think, uses the, my GTX 1050, whereas OpenGL, I don't even know how, what it's using to run it, but it doesn't seem like it's using my graphics card. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's It will still freeze up occasionally when there's new things being loaded in, but that's, like I said, that's to be expected. Um... Uh-oh, this is actually pretty froze up right now. This game gives me the vibes when you daydreamed in class. Wait, why is YouTube broken? Hello, game. Are you okay? Oh! There we go. Press circle to dodge enemy attacks. Oh, so you can dodge. It's not just a jump button. So I believe we want to make them dizzy with our pom-pom strikes. Then we can slice them up. But see, they're not getting dizzy. Oh, there we go. It just takes a while. Ooh. Ah, that does make some insta dizzy. Okay. Ah, we screwed up. We didn't get the triple. Right now. Ooh. That's cool. I feel like YouTube is is being bad now though. Can you guys see okay? YouTube claims poor connection. We want to get three lined up to see if we can do that animation <laughs> without the game breaking. Sometimes it decides to turn you into a robot, that's not good. I'm having a really hard time lining up three zombies. There's got to be a fat like I know if I drop kick them, they get they get insta dizzy, but that doesn't. There we go. See, animation worked. That's what I figured. I just had to load it up the first time. 
Um, I'm sure there's more efficient ways of doing this. I'm just figuring out how to play. Oh, was I? I was supposed to be saving you the whole time, wasn't I? Uh, I'm gonna get going. Feel like playing something. Catch you next stream. All right. So, sorry, uh, you had to try to drop in on a on a funky stream, uh, Johnny. But my my next one should be fine. I'm just I've been wanting to try to play this game, and this is kind of my only chance to do it. But yeah, you have a good night. Thanks for dropping in. My head cannon is that we have we have a full meter down there now, but I don't know what it's for yet. Deliver eggs? Oh my god, Jesus! That's not good. Come on, get away from me! Hold on, I'm. Use your adjust the camera. Don't be a perv and look up skirts. Really? Did they have to? Did they have to add that one? Uh, Fax said, Jay, to make you feel better, I was wondering when I would unlock new side jobs and No More Heroes. Didn't realize you could move the cursor in the job selection menu. Really? That sounds like something I would do. Yeah, every, every, uh, new rank, you, you unlock a new side job. And then you have to, you have to get at least a bronze medal on a side job, and then you'll unlock more proper like assassin missions which give you more money that, that's how i'm sure you figured it out by now but just in case yeah the bulletin board There's gotta be a a better way of making a bunch of zombies dizzy at the same time. Uh oh. There we go. You know what's funny? The game is actually running more smoothly than Shadows. It just freezes more. Wow, that's your favorite president, huh? I knew how to select different assassination contracts. I don't understand how you figured out how to select new assassination contracts, but not new side jobs. That's a little weird, but uh, I'm sure you only had the best intentions. So my health is actually getting kind of low. Stop beating up that poor defenseless fellow. So I like that Juliet isn't just some random high school girl that happens to have a chainsaw. She, I guess her family literally deals with the supernatural a lot. I don't know what that meter on the bottom left is though. I don't think they ever introduced it to me unless I wasn't paying attention. I should probably heal, but let's see uh, how long we could last here. I thought the bulletin board in the background was just an aesthetic trapping, not the actual menu. Ah. May you find your troll path. Whatever the heck that lady says. Oh, zombie star souls charge your meter. Are okay, now we know. Alright, let's see what happens. It's probably gonna break the game the first time. That's to be expected. Oh, there we go. Now you can just auto kill anything at the expense of everything. <laughs> Please. YouTube, please.
Yeah, let's restart OBS real quick. Okay, restarted. Sorry, I noticed that, uh... That it was chugging on YouTube, so I just restarted it. Oh, this guy's almost dead. We better try to make him not dead. I can see why they, they make you ch save your meter until this part. It makes sense once you get here. Get that lollipop if we can. No! Oh, god damn it! When you fell the rest of your class rate, they sometimes turn into strong zombies. God damn it. There was one zombie that got away. My fist like tuna, bitch. Oh well, it's probably good that we see this. That was our first screw up. It sucks that it was one, the last zombie that got him. Because I wanted to get that lollipop, I wasn't sure if we would miss it. Like a cutscene might trigger or something. But uh... It's good that we learn about this now, probably. Trying to hang on to my lollipops in case we our health is gonna heal automatically anyways. There we go. Um there's a lot of quick time events. What? Groggy zombies are easy to decapitate. Use pom pom bashes to get the zombie. Yeah. Did it just say use pom pom bashes, etc.? That's not. That's not how you explain things. Did she just say poggers? Did did a uh, grasshopper invent poggers? Maybe I should just suck it up and use one of these lollipops. But sorry, uh, Fax said, with the assassin clerk lady's hairstyle, I wonder if she was an early design for Shinobu. Yeah, I used to think the same thing because they have very uh, similar hair. I wonder what that lady's story is too. You never get to, uh, you don't hear, get any info on her besides the fact that she just works at that place. Where's the beef? Did they just say, where's the beef? I'll meet you in the square. Jeez. Well, that's unfortunate. Jesus. Yeah, he probably. What's happening? Are we leveling up? Are we henching? Just a second. Oh, her phone. Hey, it's mom, Juliet. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Don't do anything stupid, okay? That's it? Should we mention the zombie outbreak? Remember to check often when prompted, okay. Time to do some shopping. Juliet's favorite sort of shop at Chop Two Chocolate. Okay. I wonder what they have. Um, health and upgrades. Awesome skills. Lollipop train gear. Oh wait, it's the same thing. MP3s art collection. I guess what we could get I those get? later. Wait. Did I just buy some? Oh no, it was loading. Okay, we could buy lollipops for 30. Oh, we could buy platinum medals, which we can't afford any, but we have four. Just 
by themselves. I think it froze a little. The rarest metals exchange gold medals for platinum medals. Um, it's free frozen. So that's pretty. As soon as it unfreezes, I'll go check out the skills. I wish they would tell us how many lollipops we have already. I know we have at least two. Click, click. There we go. Usually with these kind of games, you need to unlock a few things before you really get in the groove. There we go. Jeez. It's funny how the menu of all th things is... Uh... So, does it say in the top left? Oh, in that other window. Okay, so we have chainsaw stab and chainsaw chain. Uh, two and four. So I guess we might as well get chainsaw stab since we can't afford anything else meaningful. You know what? I'm going to see if I can just... Oh, when you're over the lolly lollipops. Yeah, it's still frozen right now, by the way. I'm like waiting for it to unfreeze. Um, I'm going to boot up YouTube on my phone so I can see the comments. And then I'm gonna close my browser window. Okay, we're back at least. What's and see if that helps at all. Hello? There it is, there it There we go. Square, square, triangle, an easy and effective stab, att stab attack. This menu is like the equivalent of the 2D sections in, in Shadows of the Damned. They just are not friendly with us. All right, we have it. Now we can leave. Can. All right. Even on my phone, YouTube says there's nobody watching. That's weird. Okay, so now I'm gonna see your guys' comments on my phone. I'm gonna close Brave browser. Boom, let's see if that helps at all. Now we have less going on in my computer. There's no browsers open. Hey, Donga. It says there's one watching, but there's Fak, Donga, and then my phone in the chat. So yeah, YouTube is just being weird lately. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. And another lollipop. Mm. We should probably eat one. Yeah, let's just use one. See how much it heals anyways. Oh, is it a... F okay, it's it's pretty good. It's like two-thirds of your health it heals, it looks like. Or at least half. Alright. Um... No. Sorry, I already have a boyfriend. We're gonna have to find a new chainsaw wielding cheerleader girlfriend. I said, Are you gonna be my girl? Don't, don't, don't. Were they supposed to be making out those two zombies?
Whoa. We just got... Oh, so you can find some special moves, I think, is what just happened. Can you? I don't know what we found just right. How to cook zombie. Hey, Rashai. What? What is happening? Oh, that's us. Cheerleader at Sam Romero High comes from family of zombie hunters. Secret kink likes to be told she's not fat. Is that, is that a, a, a kink? Yes, tell me how not fat I am. Uh, facts of man, I wish this game would get a re-release. I wish that this and Shadows of the Damned would have got ported by now. I don't know why they haven't. Whoops. I shouldn't have done that. I flew too close to the sun by scrolling down too quickly and now the, the menu froze again. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. We do know these things already, pretty much. Wait, why does it say there's something we haven't... Ah. Okay. Alright. I just want to get those exclamation points to go away. These are all things we've pretty much seen already, haven't they? Another thing I learned about Shadows of the Dam, Steve uh, Bloom recorded that whole role in a day. Really? Wow. Juliet Stash. Okay, so these are just like... Huh. Alright, let's keep going. I'm not sure what we picked up just there. It said number two, and I think it was a golden lollipop, but I'm not really sure what it was exactly. That, and now it tells me to go to it. That's funny. After I just checked it out. She actually uses it as a chainsaw sometimes. Generally, when you use the way you would use a chainsaw, you don't generally uh, slice things. You know, you slowly grind through things. You know what, I'm just gonna, instead of trying to get huge combos, why don't we just take out the ones we can. Ooh, there we go. Jesus. Um, sorry, they replaced Garcia's original voice actor super last minute because they hired someone with a really thick accent and playtesters came back saying they couldn't understand him. Oh, jeez. Man, I mean, I guess if someone's going to be available last minute, Steve Bloom. And yet, he has a history of being in, in uh, Suda games, actually, so... Because he, he voices in Killer7, uh, he voices in No More Heroes, spoiler alert. I mean, to be fair, he does just voice in a lot of things in general too, though. <laughs> He's probably in this.
Now I'm gonna hang on to my... I feel like I should hang on to my charge meter. In case we really need it. You can actually go back and watch the early tra trailers and hear the original voice actor. Oh, that's interesting. I might have to do that. It's too bad that, like, cl clearly they must have wanted that guy. And then just, I guess it just didn't work for if the playtester... You know what? I bet you they would have kept him if not for EA. That seems like something that EA would be more concerned about than Grasshopper. Grasshopper would be like, oh, you can't understand him? Well, turn on the subtitles. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Oh, how do we answer our phone? Oh, now they tell us how to lock on the targets. Did, did they tell us how to answer the? Oh, God damn it. I hit the. I wasted my meter. Because I think we just answered our phone automatically last time. Oh, my God. I wasted my meter on three zombies. Can you turn it off? Maybe. And then the big, powerful zombies show up. That was the worst timing in the world. Zombies with health bars above their head. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have low health. Um, hang on. Is there a way to answer that f They didn't tell us how to answer the phone. They just said make sure you answer the phone whenever they call you. But they didn't tell you how to answer it. Unless somehow I missed that. But no, like I think in the cutscene she just answered, answered it automatically. I don't understand the strategy for this right here. Yeah, I'm just getting damaged a lot. Oh man, I can't believe I wasted my freaking meter right before these guys showed up. I'm trying to take out these guys first because they're almost dead. the safest way possible. I don't know if it is the safest way possible, but... Oh, there we go. There's something. I'm assuming because their health was low enough, it gave us a finisher option. Platinum's on those are the most valuable. Yeah. Okay, and now it's just you. Seems like if we keep doing this, he can't attack us, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. Never mind. Should be locked onto him, too. There we go. Um, hope this isn't the kind of game to penalize you for using healing items. Yeah, I have no idea. Why did they say that? Nuclear testes in my pants? What? Juliet will either take the call automatically or you can check her messages in the pause menu. I was looking for that, but I um I don't know where we would go for that. Yeah, I don't see a I don't see a messages option. Hmm. Oh, Nick, please be okay. He'll totally be okay. Sure, nothing will be wrong with him. 
Nick? Nick, are you here? It's okay to come out. Nick? Oh, please, please. Hey, there he is. Oh, no, he's not. Why, he's actually alive. That's actually surprising. Oh, he got bit. But you have to die to actually. Favorite food California roll, 2.7 GPA. I wish we could have more time to see that. Oh no, the audio. Oh no, the audio. Good thing we have subtitles on. Are you okay, Juliet? Yes, are you? I, uh, I, uh, one bit me just a little bit. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Oh no, it can't be. I feel it in me. I'm gonna become one, huh? She nods. Oh, I'm screwing up your birthday. Oh, I forgot it was her birthday. Sorry, I don't want to F up your birthday. My birthday, don't worry about that. That's the dumbest thing ever. Listen, I know it's stupid, we just started getting serious. But I wanted to, you to know, I never said it or anything. But I kind of, sort of, you know, love you. Just spray first aid spray on it, yeah. You know what? For a jock, he wasn't as jockey as I was expecting. I'm going to be honest. Finn, we beat the game. No, there's something we can try. It's the only chance we have to save you. WTF, Juliet. I love you too, baby. What is she doing? Does he cut his arm off? Um, that wasn't his arm. Hey, we got an A plus in the continue section. What, you don't get any bonus points for getting an A plus and continues? Now you can choose prologue in ranking mode. Ranking mode to compete against zombie hunters from around the world. Oh, that doesn't matter. All right, so we unlocked a new level, the high school, which I assume means we've saved. Which means I could boot the game up again. Hey, at least we, we went for a while before the... Uh, before the audio cut out, didn't we? I can't actually check because I... Usually I have a, another window open, but... I don't know how long we've been streaming exactly. Wait a minute, we've only been streaming for 20 minutes? Oh, that's because I stopped and restarted OBS. I about to say, it feels like we've been playing for like an hour. Um, so if I go to game start, the school should be an option. Yep, okay. So let me, let me reboot the game up real quick. Might be one of those categories where it subtracts points instead of adding them, yeah. By the way, do, do you think I should play like music in the background? Is Well, I mean, now it's completely silent, but... It does feel like it's a little um, quiet during the gameplay, don't it? All right, change to OpenGL. Boot custom configuration. Might be one of those categories where it subtracts points instead of adding them. Did I read that already? I don't know, but... um. Maybe. That is possible. Okay, see, you can actually see the boyfriend. Spoiler alert. Right, I forgot about this. She, she, I guess she cuts his head off so he doesn't turn into a zombie. It doesn't spread to his brain. And then she just kind of wears him. <laughs> like, I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I have no idea what, what you would call that, but he's one of them. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Also, you guys kind of see what I was talking about just now because I was, uh, I had to fix the thing. But now you can. You can see he's right there o on her, like, belt, like a keychain or something. Her boyfriend has been reduced to a keychain. He's like a little toy. Uh, wow, I can't believe God of War 2018 copied Lollipop Chainsaw. Oh yeah, is there like a similar concept? That's the one that everyone really liked where Kratos was completely different, right? He was like, he was like, like good dad Kratos or something. Grizzled father Kratos. And he has like a beard. I feel like the shaders in this game take longer to load up than Shadows of the Dam did. He's not completely different at all. He's the exact same Kratos, just a little weathered by time. Oh, I thought that it was a completely different version of the character i didn't realize it was connected to the original series i don't know i don't know like a ton about uh, god of war i used to watch um one of those g4 shows on it sometimes with like the cheat code show they would show you like different easter eggs and stuff and i know kratos was just very bloodthirsty and focused on vengeance and stuff and um I had assumed that in the new game, it was just a completely different version of the character. I don't know, I thought it was a, like a, a reboot or something. It's basically God of War 4 and all but name. He's a terrible dad, but that's half the arc of the game. Okay. A double O, you finally you play this. We're trying. We are attempting. I can't play the music, unfortunately, because I... I the stream will probably get terminated, but at least we still have the sound effects. By the way, it's San Romero because it's referencing George Romero, right? The the guy who did Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead and Land of the Dead and many more. Julia? What? Am I okay? Uh, yeah. Sorry, all the shaders are loading, so it's okay. all messed up. I feel good. Julia, I'm not a zombie. <laughs> not at all. What? Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Uh, 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 I had to. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> Poor Nick. Don't get mad. I didn't know what to do. Oh, I need to change the thing back to uh the other thing. I performed a magical ritual on your head. It was really hard. And I don't mean to be a jerk, but I think maybe just a little bit of appreciation is in order. If I didn't chop off your head, the venom would have totally seeped into your brain and turned you into a zombie. Juliet? How? How do you know how to perform a magical ritual on my decapitated head? Yeah, how do you know that, Juliet? That's a little what? suspicious. Uh, um? There's some stuff I didn't tell you before, okay? I didn't want you to think I was weird. I'm kind of, sort of, I... <sighs> what? Uh, uh, Juliet? Don't know how to say it exactly. Zombies! 
Yeah, the, the next cutscene should work better. I, I've activated Vulcan mode. I like how you said, how am I Where's my Thor? I don't have a Thorax. Oh, there's the phone. Will she answer it herself? She didn't answer it. Oh, or something like maybe hit start at that moment or select or something, but I don't know. Oh. Oh, here we go. It, it was in a subsection. Don't do anything stupid. And... Whoops. Can we hear it? Let's see. Hey, it's Mom, Juliet. Hope you're taking care of yourself. So one we heard. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Who's keeping score? Uh, Fak is. Fak is really good at keeping score. Hey, baby, it's mom. I just wanted to check that your poor boyfriend is still coming. I can't wait to meet him. Yeah, he's just ahead now, by the way. Attacks can hit positions even if they're far away. If you practice, you can figure it out. Over. Did he just suggest that we have homing attacks? Um, that sounds important. Hey, lollipop, we could use that. Oh boy. What the hell was that? Nothing. Mr. Fitzgibbon. <laughs> okay. This kind of math sucks. In front of enemy to leapfrog over them can combine with combos. I like that one. It seems to be a good finishing kill. This time. Jira, the No More Hero slots just random chance. I do not understand. They they are random chance. That's all they are. Unfortunately, you can you can get pretty bad luck, or you can get good luck. I think the last time I played I was getting like no. I would generally hang on to those because they give you bonus points at the end of missions. Or you can use it as a, a screen clearing attack. Mr. Fitzgibbons just ran away. Self-destruct tutorial. 
What's this? A bomb? It's royally effed up. That's some whack shit! Uh-oh. We should help them, right? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. That's a lot of people to save. There's another golden lollipop. I think I just sliced someone by accident. Well, they died. That's chill. How come that was the only person with a health bar? Should, should I just went right for them to begin with? I'm gonna get that golden lollipop. I'll be honest, like, I kind of feel like I'm just always struggling with the gameplay here. Like, generally, when you're playing a game with a lot of enemies, it's, like, satisfying because if you're doing things right, you can combo people and set them up for finishing moves. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game most of the time. I'm just kind of trying to be careful enough that I'm not dying too much. Sylvia is very serious about dental hygiene. Uh, yeah. You could say that. Are you are you doing the Shinobu? Or sorry, I should say, are you doing the number eight uh, mission right now? It's funny if you are because that mission takes place in a high school and I'm in a high school right now. I fucked up my math test. I need help. That's what he's concerned about. All right, we better rescue this guy. We don't want another strong zombie on our hands. I never thought I'd be saved by someone with such great tits. Dude, you can't say that. Well, I guess it's a compliment, but still. Hey, it's Mr. Fitzgibbon again. Why is Mr. Fitzgibbon a recurring character? Teacher zombies are the worst. Find their weak spot to make them vulnerable to attack. Okay. He gave me a D last week. Kill him. I mean, if there's ever a reason to get to annihilate a zombie, if they gave you a, a D. Hey, that's still passing in high school, though. That's not too bad. My meter is almost filled, but I'm gonna save it because this seems to be the pretty. Ooh. Ow. That hurt. I'd better heal.
I guess we just want to leave Frog behind him and attack him. That seems to be the... Oh, and his thing's gone. There we go. We're getting a C minus. Oh no, a C minus. Why is that zombie have bombs strapped in? Okay. Fuck! I think that zombie seriously had dynamite strapped to it. It Why did. Why somebody do that? Do we have some chaotic people taking advantage of all this zombie outbreak? <laughs> Guess we can't go that way. That'll make the five o'clock news. Hey Caleb, uh, JD, you ever watch AEW? I, I watch it a, a little bit here and there. I, I don't always watch uh, WWE all the time either, but you know, just kind of stuff here and there. I know they they have a big pay per view tonight, but I uh, I don't know. I decided to just stream anyways. This zombie might work. Hey, Nick. Is it tonight or tomorrow? To tonight, right? Can you give me a hand? Uh, yeah, right. I don't have a hand to give. Well, not yet, but that spell I cast on you gives you some magical powers. What? Like maybe I can connect you to this zombie's body and you can temporarily Ooh. use it. Huh? <sighs> oh, so CM Punk really did return, huh? Wow. Like That's crazy. I'll have to check that out later. What's happening? Whoa, this feels weird. I'm blue and stuff. <laughs> okay. That's funny. The way he tossed Nick, that explosive. If I use That's crazy, ticket, I can Caleb. Totally use your cool powers. Whatever. I'll have to check that out. He came out with Cult of Personality and everything. Answer the phone, Juliet. Answer. She won't answer. What the heck? I guess we gotta just keep checking manually. Alright, let's see who called her this time. I think the audio just went out though. Julia, it's mom. I know it's silly, but I've been shopping. Can't believe I used to be afraid to give out my credit card number online. Uh, okay. Boy, it's really addictive. I think because of your... I don't know why, actually. The recently awoken from the dead. Wow. Apparently I couldn't, I shouldn't have checked that number because now we lo we've lost our audio. Help. Nick tickets let you use Nick Roulette. Push L when you have a ticket. Okay. Um, I don't want to reboot the game until we beat the chapter. So instead, I'm going to play... I guess I'll just play some music in the background. Because we can't just be playing this completely silent. Now can we? All right, sorry, one second. Well, the first video, Caleb, when I went to my front page of my YouTube was CM Punk debuts in AEW. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'll just go to my playlist for now. Until I can reboot the game. All right, there we go. Now we at least have some music we can listen to while I play.
Oh, we gotta save that guy. What am I doing? The whole point of those zombies in front were to distract me. Let me know if the music's too loud, actually. It might be a little loud. Um, where's my apple? What's that star? What does that star do? Does it give us a full meter, even though I already have a full meter? I bet you that's exactly what it does. So I should have just used my meter already. I'll use it on, on, on the next uh, group of zombies. Here's your pop quiz for, and he got shot. Wow, a cop and a horror thing actually helped? Oh, it's a zombie cop. Ryu, the cop's name is Ryu, and he has like a little saber baton thing, what the hell? Oh, my last lollipop, that's not good, but I kind of need it. Screw it, I'll just use it for this guy. Oh, he died in one hit, even like, like mini boss zombies die in one hit, I didn't expect that. Maybe I should have saved it. Dying hurts so bad. Name zombies you kill are stored in your zombie album, okay. Did I hear you asking me something a few minutes ago? I went into the Shinobu fight, so I stopped watching the stream for a little bit. Oh, I don't blame you. I mean, I'm glad that you were focusing on that. A lot of people have trouble with the Shinobu fight the first time, or in general, some people still have just trouble with it. I didn't really have trouble with it. I know she has like a, a uh, pseudo insta-kill, which can definitely get you if you don't avoid it correctly. How, how did the fight go for you? Also, that means we were both... Was I not supposed to... Was I supposed to run away from the bomb zombies, I guess? That means we were both playing games levels inside of high schools. Do I... Okay. She killed you? Yeah. No, I think Shinobu probably was... I, th I think she probably killed me my first time as well. I mean, you're not going to know that that move's going to come out the first time. I'm still kind of figuring out the game's feedback and cues. Is that Harley Quinn slicing up zombies? It might be Rockman, Sam. It's funny that you mentioned that because apparently James Gunn was inspired by... He, he, he co-wrote this game. And uh, I guess... He based one of the scenes from the new Harley Quinn movie, or the Suicide Squad movie, on this game. I need to get away from the bomb zombies, because they're, they're going to blow up and kill me. You're a disgrace to yourself and all those you've killed. Uh... Throws up. Yeah, no, I mean, fact, sometimes that's just how the bosses are, like, you... A zombie? Okay, that's chill. Sometimes it takes you a second to figure it out. I think with Shinobu, I believe you just want to walk away from her sonic sword. I think that's her, her like crazy attack. But no, yeah, each boss is kind of just moments that you have to kind of figure out when should I attack them? When should I do like go for a charge attack? And then, you know, getting comfortable with things. Dark Slide is extremely useful if you can figure out how to use that. Apparently there's soda at the chop and shop. Can we just go there anytime? Oh, no, no, we have to find them. That's right. 
I can't quite tell what the difference is between a successful block and a block that does chip damage. Um, it might depend on what attack is hitting you. Like it, it, it might be certain things you just can't block. Because usually as long as you have energy in your sword, you should be able to block most things. Oh my god, there's so many explosions in this game. Ah, oh, they really dropped the thing on us. Wouldn't you want the, the zombie hunter girl with the chainsaw to be on your side of the gate? I mean, come on. You should be dating me. That sucks. Okay. Let's dance. Is that a David Bowie reference? Holes are flash ready to kill zombies. You really press triangle to speed up your spin. Ooh! Ah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Too bad it went away, but uh, I don't know if you should time that. Like, don't mash it completely because it like uses it up faster. But that was really cool. What dev team was behind this project? Grasshopper Manufacturer. Yep. Yeah, th this was a Grasshopper Manufacturer, which is uh, the team, uh, Suda51's uh, dev team. They did Killer7, No More Heroes, Killer is Dead, Shadows of the Damned. Let's dance. Doo -doo. How am I going to get over there? There's fire in the way. At least the fire doesn't hurt you, it just doesn't let you walk through it. I actually appreciate that. But there has to be a way to get over there. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Let's study together. Explosion. Bomber zombies will explode in contact with a fire zombie. Ah, I see. Well, I'm trying to be careful here because I don't think I have any more lollipops and uh, my health is pretty low. Oh god, well, there they go. I guess we were supposed to try to save them and I goofed. Oh well. We'll learn one day. Oh, okay, Jesus. Use the buttons to walk on zombie heads. Get them all to get a sweet reward. Why didn't that work? I, I hit X. I'm just gonna assume that's because of the emulator. God, that sucks. We didn't get the sweet reward. I hit X though. Damn. That probably would have took care of everything too easier. Ah, uh, that sucks. I mean, I guess that's the drawback to having to use uh, an emulator. Yeah, it's because I'm using this PS3 emulator that's really finicky, so occasionally the audio will cut out. And I have to reboot the game to get the audio to come back, but we're in the middle of a level, so I have to wait until the level's over. So I just started playing music. And then we'll have the reverse thing. I didn't know you spoke Japanese, Nick. Watashi no Nihongo. Oh. I just know that one word. Juliet knows Japanese. Your simple innocence is one of the most attractive things about you. Uh, yeah. You're like a kitten. A kitten that doesn't speak Japanese. Yeah, okay. 
We're missing all this witty banter, but at least we have the subtitles on. Uh, the music isn't from this game because the game has bajillion licensed songs. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have the opposite problem when I actually reboot the game. There's going to be only gameplay audio, but no <laughs> music. Zombies. Basketball. Time on the three minutes you lose in blam. Hmm. Okay. Whoops. You might recognize this song, in fact. I believe this is uh, Dr. Peace's boss music. The Capte Zombie had score points. Remember, you can also score three pointers. I don't understand how. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's it? You just cut their heads off and they float into the basket? Okay. That works for me. Oh, this dude's blocking. Screw you. Oh, we gotta be careful. I have low health. I have very low health. God, this is good. I have such low health. Do I have any lollipops? I don't. They haven't given me one in a while. Oh, I should buy more next time I go to the store. Yeah, they're not that expensive either. I just, I was trying to save my money for skills. That happens a lot to me in games where like, I've been taking a lot of damage and then it's when I need to not take damage, I start finding out ways to just play more carefully. And it's like, wow, I could have been playing like this the whole time. Are these evil, evil cheerleader zombies? I'm gonna have to use my, my meter in a second. Oh, they're beating me. They have 100... Or oh, I need to get over 100 points, maybe. Before the timer goes out. Oh, there's a lollipop. There we go. Jeez. Thank you. Oh, we've got to be behind the basket, though, or else the heads don't go in. Stop blocking the shots! Oh. We have time. We just have to kill a few more. Oh, you jerk! We tied. Can we beat him? Yes, we beat him. Uh, the zombies are getting slaughtered. Can't wait to see you in action again. Alright. Um, Fax says, Speaking of Japanese, I know Juliet can make a certain Fist of the North Star reference when performing a finisher. That's cool. You know, when I hear of No More Heroes music... I, what I hear of No More Heroes music is good, but I don't know if this is a port issue. The audio mixing is kind of crap. There's not even a separate voice slider, so I've had to turn down the music so I can hear what the characters are saying. Yeah, there, there was never an issue with ha hearing what the characters were saying in the Wii version, from what I remember. So, I actually think I remember hearing that there was audio mixing issues in No More Here, the ports. Like, just straight up audio, like, glitches in general, I think even. Like, sometimes your attack sounds would cut out. So I assume that that must be a port thing. Rockman Sam says, wonder why many flashy character action games nowadays don't seem to support two-player co-op. It would make the game more awesome. 
Um, yeah, I, I guess in this game it'd be nice if you could play as one of Juliet's sisters, probably. Oh my god, they are just strapped with bombs, aren't they? Quarantine. <laughs> Escape! Chop chop, okay. So we're actually gonna buy... Oh, there's a lot more stuff we could buy now. Oh, we could buy outfits. I probably won't spend money on this. Oh, well look, I need 10. Wait, how come it says I can't buy that? Or maybe it can, but it's highlighted. Yeah, that would take 10 platinum medals. Sexy American casual. MP3s, which is pointless to buy also because we're not listening to music. Art collection. Concept art's always good. You know, I'm guessing that the platinum coins are only used for like bonus stuff. They're, they're not used for skills or anything. So we probably can't afford to spend them. I think some of the Switch DMC ports have co-op in Bloody Palace, not the whole game though. DMC, that's another game I have to play. We're Whirling Chain, Dance of Chainsaw Death. Armadillo Spin. Chainsaw Attack has excellent reach. Two quick cheer attacks followed by penetrating. Oh, I already got that. Um, I guess we will Oh yeah, we could we can afford both of these, but let's see the health and upgrades real quick. If there's anything here. Whoops. Nick ticket. Platinum medals. Magic beans. Oh, we can we can upgrade our stuff here. I don't even know what the homing attacks are yet, uh, but we have recovery, strength, health. Oh no, specifically the magic beans increase your health. Aromatic, uh, aromatic yoga oil. What the heck is yoga oil? You definitely gotta play the first one. It's another game that was gonna be RE4, right. I remember hearing about that. Um. I forget what the Nick tickets do. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna buy one of these skills first. Wait, what's Nick Shake? That wasn't there before. Usable by playing Nick Roulette. Huh. Wait, suddenly like more options popped up, I feel like. Chain Pom Pom Bash to make zombies groggy. That could be useful. Ah, now we need to decide which ones we wanna get. I'm gonna get this because it sounds... Oh, press triangle up to six times to devastate enemies on all sides. It's not showing me... a menu for this for some reason. Hello? Okay. I guess we'll just... Wait! It spent my money? Why did it spend my money? Did I get the one I wanted? I guess I did. Oh, it didn't. See, I thought clicking on it, it would tell me what the combo was, but it, you have to spend your money to see what the combo is, which I think is kind of dumb. Damn it, I didn't mean to buy both of these. That's, ugh. You know what, if I had the audio, I could have heard the coin sound effect probably, and I would have been like, oh, I just spent money. But since I didn't have that, I, damn it. I wanted to only buy one of those and then I was gonna buy upgrades, but now I can't. Hmm, I guess I'd better go to Lollipop just in case. Ah, well next time I'll have to focus on upgrades. And then we have a phone call, is she gonna answer that? I guess we will have to check that out ourselves. Yeah, we, we mega oofed for sure. Indispensable. Isn't that the name of that superhero animated show? Juliet, dad. You know about them combo attacks? Get them when you're shopping. They're indispensable for racking up the high scores. Over. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see if this was worth getting. Oh, someone grabbed us. 
crawling zombie. It doesn't really feel like a combo, it just feels like I'm just slashing over and over again. That dude's got a guitar. Oh, at least we're getting some medals. Oh, there's stuff down there. See that? There's like coins down there. How would we get that? Right? Aren't those coins? Hmm. I feel like they're trying to get us... There must be a secret way to get in there. Yeah, I wish I was watching you, Fact, then I could probably help give you some more advice. Um... Uh-oh, bombs. Hey, I got coins for them exploding, that works out for me. Dead frogs, gross. That's gross? I know, right? Julia, you're literally cutting rotting corpses in half and... A little frog dissection is gonna get the best of you. Nick under the shutter. I know, you're right, you're right. That would have been perfect. For all we know, that's something we can do and we just haven't figured it out yet. Oh! There we go. I bet you Nick can help us now. Oops. Yeah, this part was like really, really lagging up. It would be impossible. So we're lucky it's working as well as it is. Nice glow effect, yeah. Speaking of guitars, from what I remember of the game, the bosses get wild. Oh yeah, we haven't found any bosses yet. I didn't even think about that. Damn kid. Well, I'm gonna eat a lollipop first of all. No, screw it. I'm just gonna <laughs> use my super. Oh, they're not. They're actually not. There we go. Thought they weren't dying instantly, but I wasn't using the right move. The right button. Nick rolled. Oh god. Hey, another lollipop. Beat Dad's high score on leaderboard to earn special rewards. Our dad's on the on the online leaderboard. Hey! I don't know if we've killed more than three in a row yet. Hopefully we get that eventually. I think, in fact, you're right though. Like, once you get more combos, it starts becoming... Like, they're very important. It, it starts becoming... The gameplay starts feeling better. Because other... I don't know. Like, I'm sure you can be good with just the basic stuff, but... Uh, feels like it's definitely helping. The candy is dandy. Uh-oh, fire. We don't want them to touch each other. Oh, too late. Yeah, let's just back up then. Let them explode if they want so badly.
I think I remember looking up in this game, it actually isn't super long either. Like, it probably could be done in like two streams. Um. Yeah, because I'm really liking this one of the combos that I just purchased. That. Pretty good. Uh, gosh dang it, I was not prepared for the sudden Shinobu QTE. Shinobu QTE. Is that when you were you clashed with each other? Because I think that's just something that could happen to any, with most bosses. Also, what is the homing attack that they mentioned? I feel like I'm missing something. I don't remember a Shinobu QTE, but I don't know why I don't remember that. Is that like at the end of the fight? Kill the stronger zombies and sparkle up and you'll get a metal bonus. Not the clash, the sword swipes that followed after, okay. But that's not like a, like finishing her off, is it? It's just like a thing that can happen, I'm guessing. Because I don't remember like you specifically having to do a QT. Like Dr. Peace, I remember you have to do the quick draw. All right, now let's get some upgrades. Oh, we can only afford one. So do we want more health, more strength? Got more strength. Mystic dumbbells that tone, shape, and permanently increase your strength. Wow, those are very useful dumb dumbbells. I wonder if that's common for uh, for cheerleaders to like. I'm guessing most cheerleaders probably don't lift weights, but it might be useful, especially if you're one of the ones that are like on the bottom of the the pyramid. Oh, and then as we go upstairs, they give us more coins. Hmm, I could go down and buy another lo lollipop just in case we need it. Yeah, let's do that. Why risk it, right? Oh, this would be a good timing if we're about to fight a boss. Was it a quick draw? I left it on the press ZR prompt for a little bit because I thought it would be disrespectful to draw first. No, yeah, it was a, it's a quick draw. Wait, is this a boss? Did we literally get the Yoshi's Island boss music as, as the first boss showed up? Oh no, this guy's helping. Oh, he's on one of the menus. Junji Murwaka, Seer, Chantel, Japan, Karate. Ah, oh, there's so many things. Wait, why, why is she doing that? Oh, she's showing him Nick. I was very confused about what she was doing. My teacher, most veteran, amazing veteran, zombie hunter. Okay, they're doing this on purpose, though. Look at it, what the hell? <laughs> Did they have to do a 2D picture of it as well? Is that ketchup drip from that bird's beak? Possibly. Sorry, I should be reading this. The universe is comprised of three dimensions. Land beyond words, the rotten world, and our dimension, Earth. 
there are dimensional walls between each. Using a combination of black magic and explosives, someone cracked the wall between Earth and Rotten World. Th using explosives <laughs> and the gases of the Rotten World seeped into our world. Your friends and fellow students and held these gases would transform them into the undead. That's a very unique version of zombies. Usually they don't turn into zombies that way. Open a permanent gate between here and the rotten world. Okay, so that's... Which would be catastrophic. Fortunately, once they become zombies, there's no return. Okay, so that's where we're trying to stop. All we can do is clean up the school, kill the undead, and stop the bomber. That is our mission. The bomber is either in the cafeteria downstairs or the courtyard. Oh, are there going to be branching paths? You destroy the zombies in the cafeteria, I shall look in the courtyard. Counting on you both. Kill those mother effers. He just teleported? Dude, this old man is insane. I wish we could have heard his voice. Hopefully we'll get to hear it later. Happy birthday, Juliet. Wow, they had a whole birthday party celebrated for... Her. Oh god. That's a lot of zombies. What if you really need a normal lollipop and then you pick up a golden lollipop, which is not actually health? Whoops, I accidentally triggered... I don't know what, why I thought R2 did something else suddenly, but I just wasted... Well, that was a crappy party. Dumbest, most explodious birthday cake ever. Wait, can I use it? I should have saved it, but oh well. I just realized I was like knocking that zombie towards the freaking thing. This seems okay. We're doing okay so far. Don't let the fire zombies touch the dynamite. Oh, he's getting close. Oh, stay away from there, buddy. Oh my god, that one's running. Don't do that. Don't turn into 28 days la later infected. Oh no! Oh, okay. So you can let them explode certain things. You just can't let them touch it too many touch. Okay, that's better. I thought I was done. Okay, I accidentally knocked him into it like a dummy. Right. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, we have enough for our meter again. Ah, wrong guy, there we go. That was close. No, did we fail? Ah! Oh, god damn it. I was in my super mode and everything, and I still failed. Well, hopefully it restarts us there. These levels are pretty long. Because we started at 7 and we're still on the second level. They're like an hour each, it feels like. I mean, it's nice that they give us a lo lollipop, but that's not going to help us stop the cake from exploding. Okay. 
We're doing a little better this time. Oh, it's Shinobu's theme. Which fact was fighting? Hopefully he's doing okay. Hopefully he, he's not um, having too much trouble with the boss fight. A lot better this time. Is that it? That might be all the zombies. Oh god, great. Oh boy. Oh great, this is just excellent. Escape! Okay, just leave. Just ditch all these people. That's messed up. Well, what was the point of making sure the cake wouldn't explode if the cake was gonna explode anyway? I guess because there was no exit yet. That would be the explanation. So that I'm assuming that's going to be the end of the level, so we should be able to reboot the game and get our audio back. Oh boy. Who's that? Hey, I recognize that guy. He went to school with us. He's the one. Planning to open the gate between here and the rotten world. I have to stop him. Oh man. There's nothing more hysterical to me than watching this world burn. Oh god, it's like a mega goth. This world, this government, this society made my life hell. I wonder what he sounds like. Well, now everyone is going to know a life in hell. Forever. Swan, 18. Goth geek bastard. Oh, I didn't miss- I, I missed his favorite food. You know, it's set time to clean, uh... Wait. wait till I get my hands on you, dude. You don't have hands, Nick. Malicious lords, I invoke dark forces and declare myself god of this realm. As the pawn is present, may your ritual commence, and may the dark purveyors appear now. No! I feel like our master is going to sacrifice himself or something. Oh, again? They can't do the same thing twice. That's silly. I can't believe he just had butcher knives. This world makes me want to puke. You're the one who called us here? Yeah, that's right. I'm your new master. Oh, that's gonna go well. Demand you initiate the pawn into the ritual. Rod every living thing in the school along the way. Master. I did it. Alright, guys. Time for you to rot this entire school. And everyone in it. I think I dig this kid. A real f***ing head case. How could he do this to Sensei Morikawa? That smell? This one's a zombie hunter. Give us the order, master. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you laughing at, Ted? Let the ritual commence. Zed. Uh-uh. Let's play. It's like a punk zombie piss off. Got her on the third attempt. Oh, good job, Feck. I'm glad. No, that that's very usual, by the way. Like a lot of a lot of people can. A lot of people have had trouble with Shinobu. Some people think that that's like the hardest fight, which for me I don't think so, but some people feel that way. 
Not a fan of how she can just decide to be impervious to your attacks. I mean, that's all of the bosses. Sometimes they're just in this these modes where you can't hurt them and you have to kind of figure out when that is. I would have figured your your biggest problem would have been her sonic sword or when she, you know, she she does like that. Basically, I'm a punk rock zombie Zed. Welcome to the mosh pit, you zombie hunting sleaze. Okay, now I'm confused cuz like I feel like there hasn't been a chapter break. Is this just the bot? I would do a dark slide and start slashing and would see my sword visibly pass through her several times over. No damage will be done. Oh yeah. Shinobu also like dodges attacks a lot more than other bosses, but she also has less health than a lot of the other bosses. Like no, like she definitely avoids attacks a lot too. So that might have been part of it, or I don't know. That's just my guess. Yeah, I was waiting for a chapter break so I can could boot the game up and get the audio back. But like, ironically, fact, Shinobu's music's playing right now <laughs> on my playlist. I like her theme a lot. At least it's really good. Do -do 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 -do. It's dad. Hi, dad. Julia, get used to dodging. You want to master a. Oh, you want to be a zombie master hunter. Got to dodge an attack. Don't forget. Okay. Well, these little tips seem kind of like a lot of the time. It's just stuff you would, should probably know right at the start of the game. Seems like she doesn't like to do it if you stay up close. She only did Sonic Sword once or twice. Oh, really? She never did the thing where she shoots like a hundred sonic sword slashes and it like insta kills you if you let them hit you. Cause that was the- I think that's the problem most people have. Whoops. No one told me we're gonna have to deal with giant letters. My Chemical Romance wannabe is destroying Sam uh, Romero. Fax talking about No More Heroes, the first one. He, he's playing through No More Heroes 1 and 2. Oh, or... I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Ay vey. Well, that's two continues because of dumbness. But yeah, like judging based based on that's where they set a checkpoint. That's kind of funny. She did get me with that. Not quite an insta-kill, but took me from full health to like three- Wait, what happened? I hit the right button and then I started reading- What the hell happened? God damn it. Ugh. Oh. Hang on, I need to watch what happened there so it doesn't happen again. I oh, they throw in more buttons to hit. God damn it. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Well, there's three continues. That's what I get for trying to read the chat. Being a responsible streamer. Sorry, but uh, no, yeah, a lot of people thought that was an insta-kill for the longest time, but it's, it just does like almost all your health. Ow. Don't hit me while I'm cutting stuff. His voice is mega irritating. His voice also just... Does anyone know where this song is from? If they know where this song's from, I will give them many brownie points.
Oh, she's sliding down. I don't know if that's very comfortable in a skirt, but... I don't know if I'd want to go to a concert that takes place in a junkyard. That seems a little... A little, uh... Dangerous. That music vibration knocking junk heaps down. Whoops. Uh, what's hilarious is she has this big scene multi-hit move that doesn't even do that much damage. Yeah, when she's doing like the tele- it's like she's teleport anime attacking you from all sides. What's hilarious is she has- or sorry, no clue. Got nothing. Sounds Super Nintendo-y. It's funny that you say that. It sounds Super Nintendo-y, right? Guess what? It's an NES game. It's Silver Surfer. Done by the, ex the the soundtrack is done by the extremely talented Tim Fallen, who is known for somehow taking the the eight bit sound of the NES and just pushing it to these crazy limits that you you wouldn't think was possible. Like listen to this music. Like this does not sound like an NES game, does it? It's crazy. Yeah, Tim Fallen. Very, very uh, talented dude. I believe he did uh, music for like a, lot of, a Commodore 64 games as well. This whole junkyard is full of quick time events. You gotta pay attention, which I, I wasn't before. <laughs> But now I am. Hey, Lollipop. Probably take him three hours to spike his mohawk this morning. Needy much? Damn, got him. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna crush your face. That's rude. So this is one of five bosses, it looks like. Uh-oh. Stop singing giant letters. Love the smell of almost dead cheerleader in the morning. Oh, the misfits black flag torturing small animals. That's not good. Torturing small animals, what kind of whack job waterboards Chip and Dale? That's very specific. That makes guy line. Whoops. Did she just say guy liner? Like eyeliner? But that's that's funny. I, I don't think I've ever heard that. Oh my god, he's like the Flash. He's Barry Allen, the fastest man alive. Uh oh. Okay, I was looking the wrong way, but I still managed to dodge his attack, thankfully. I should lock on to him. What am I doing? How do you lock on? There we go. That'll probably help. Oh, that's a bad word. Surprised you never heard Guyliner. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess because I just... No, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I, where I would hear that. Uh, yeah, that was pretty sick. You're rocking, Juliet. Oh, oh, he just put himself back together. Okay. He said, you think that hurt me? I just jizzed a little. Wow, okay. Okay. All right. 
let's see, what am I going to do now? Just Huh. I'm not exactly sure what I meant to do now. Like, they, they mentioned a homing attack, but I don't think they ever taught me how to do it. And he's just kind of jumping back and forth. So... Maybe we just have to keep going until they all get destroyed. Yeah, it did seem a bit too easy. You're right. Because that did go away pretty quickly, especially for how hard some of the other enemies have been in comparison. That was a good twist though, the way he just like smushed his head back together. Whoa! That's a big speaker. Damn, that's thick. Do I just... Okay, so you need to let go before that hits you. I hope these aren't audio-based. Yeah, I can't hit him, so we just have to focus on cutting this. I don't know why he came down, though. That was weird. Out of all the attacks he could have done to us. Okay, so we want to leave. There we go. Okay. Good. Thankfully, it's visual cue, not just audio. Whoops, wrong button. Where is he? Aha! Gonna cut your mic stand in half, and then what are you, what are you gonna have? Nothing. It's probably where all his powers are contained. That one actually hurt a little. Sorry, uh... Um, as someone who was in high school when this game came out, it does feel like appropriate high schooler lingo. Yeah. Is, is he okay? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, now he's open. Okay. I guess we need to avoid, let him, his attack hit himself. Oh, there we go. And then he's open for attack. There we go. Couple more times ought to do it. Yeah, because otherwise it doesn't look, oh, I did get to hit him actually. All right, so that isn't the only time you could hit him here. Unless he just changed phases. Is also possible. Whoops, I didn't get up in, in fast enough in time to really dodge. Oh boy. There we go. Get some more hits in. One more opening and he should be pretty much done. I think that's it. Let's see. Finish. How do I finish? It just says the finish. Um, finish. How? Maybe a little more information would be nice. I, I can't reach him because you can't like dodge forward. Um, I assume either Gold Town or Beefhead is, the, yeah, Gold Town is the bar. Uh, Beefhead is the video store, which you can take, you can rent videotapes and then they'll teach you new wrestling moves to use against regular thugs. Oh, we have a lot of lollipops. I should be using these anyways. I, I was worried I was low on them. I guess we just need to reach him. That was weird. You don't have like a proper roll forward in this game, so... Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. That's a good Pulp Fiction reference.
There we go. That ought to do the trick. I'm not done screaming yet. Really effing hurts, man. Geez, so emo. And there he goes. Miss Vita Rigi Pro Nefario Quepto. That sounds like something out of Evil Dead. Hey, our master's alive. That's good. For now. Managed to purify one of the dark purveyors. I think there was five of them. Look at this. Um, Zed was only the weakest of the dark purveyors. Go on. Other four are here rotting the school. Now they probably transformed all your fellow students into the undead. The school is probably filled with zombies. Uh... Fact, you need to find seven to get any of the abilities. I probably should have specified that. There is a, uh, there are a lot of Lavakov balls around the city. I guess that means there's 49. Oh, our sensei's dead. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Looked like he was dead. Happy birthday, Juliet. Aw, Sensei remembered. You're always my favorite pupil. Did my music just stop? Oh, YouTube auto-paused it. Uh, you know what, screw it, I'll play that. I don't care if it doesn't match. He's a ghost now. <laughs> he just leaves. This kind of fits. Did he just take an elevator to heaven? Well, there he goes. Ooh, we got an upgrade. Chainsaw dash. Now that's a sweet ride. Splashes in a stream. Oh, I lost a lot of points for the continues. Need to pay attention more. Well, that's still a passing grade. You got MP3s. Wait, we barely beat stage one? You can use the, only use Chainsaw Dash in stage two onwards. Damn, two hours into the game, we barely beat stage one. I guess the first one was the prologue. Alright, well now we should be able to safely reboot the game. Let's see, should I try to go for one more stage tonight? Uh, it is Friday. So, I don't have to do Walter time till much later. Nearly 40 minutes for the first stage. Is that how long it took me? Alright, well, if it's about that long, we could probably do one more. Alright, let me just reboot the game so we can actually get... ...game audio. Yeah, fact, um, I mean, I feel bad because I don't want to, like, just tell you what to do and stuff, but there's definitely a, a couple Lavakov upgrades in particular that are, like, really, really useful, and it'll really help you during fights. So if you want me to, like, tell you the suggestions, I mean, like, I already told you the sprinting ability just for, like, 
quality of life generally. Like it's just really good to have the sprinting, which just to clarify, you only use it when you're in your walking mode, not when you're using actually fighting mode. It's, it's, it's just for getting around faster on foot, but also some of the side jobs utilize it. And then there's another um, move and there's another upgrade in particular I'd really recommend getting because it, it'll it could make uh, getting it, it you'll see I'm gonna be hunting down lava cob balls for the next two hours now didn't realize my sword upgrade would mark them on the map as well oh yeah well you can't tell if they're lava coves or if they're just money spots, but you can kind of have a good idea because lava coves are rather money can't be buried on cement. So if you see red spots in the middle valleys and stuff, then that's probably a lava cob ball. Are you really going to try to get all the lava cob balls? Um, I don't think I've ever done that, but, uh, The, the second ability that I would really recommend, it's... I forget how they describe it, but all you do to activate it is to... Sh you shake the nunchuck. Oh wait, how do you do that on the Switch? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if you're playing with the motion controls or not. If you are, then I guess you just shake the left Joy-Con. Hang on, while this is loading, let me look it up. Lava cob ball. Uh, okay, lava cob. Where are the techniques? Okay. Okay, technique of love. Memory of demon. It allows a jumping slash to be performed by shaking the nunchuck. I really recommend you get that one because what the way that I would use it um hang on oh okay so fact said I'm playing with the pro control oh god damn it I forgot to start with OpenGL oh well at least we're talking about something else right now so we could waste time Uh, Fax said, I'm playing with the Pro Controller and I can kind of see what you're saying about the controls. They don't feel quite right. Yeah, the button, the button layout just doesn't feel like they're in the right place. And even the PS3 version, they feel like they're in a much, much better layout. I think in the PS3 version... What the hell is that? like a noise um on the ps3 version i think it's square for low striking triangle for high striking x for low melee circle for high i think that's what it is and it feels a lot more intuitive and i can't i feel like for switch they made like i can't even remember they made it something weird it just it never felt right to me That's why I'm really hoping that No More Heroes 3. Oh, is that what it is on the Pro Controller? I don't remember. There, there's something about it that's that's weird. Unless they changed it. But you know what? I was playing it with the Joy-Cons, though. I think. But I also tried the Pro Controller and it didn't feel right. I don't know. I, I'd have to pick it up again. Whatever the, whatever they were, I, I never got used to them. It just didn't work for me. And so I'm really hoping No More Heroes 3 has a better layout. Do they ditch the low high stance thing in No More Heroes 2? They don't. The, the, the high low stance thing is really, really works when the controls are right. 
like it flows just fine. It's just the way they translated it to the Switch doesn't feel right to me. I think it's perfect with motion controls because you literally just have the, the, Wii, the Wii remote tilted a little bit higher or lower as you're fighting and it's a little subtle movement just to do lower high attacks and it feels just it feels great compared to just applying them to two different buttons i don't know do 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 Sorry, it does take a while to boot up, don't it? How do you feel about them bringing back the open world stuff in No More Heroes 3? Um, I think it's cool. Like the open world in No More Heroes 1 is really basic. Well, not open world, just sand sandbox, I guess is the right phrasing, right? Um. Like, it's really basic, but it's fine for what it is, you know, you can get around. Riding on your bike is fun. Have you have you figured out how to ride the bike, like, well, by the way? Like, do you know how to do, like, the, uh, the drifting and stuff? Because that really makes getting around fun and quick. Yes, now we have audio again. Isn't that the hypest? Why is it like zoomed in? Is it just me? Yeah, it's like zoomed in. What the heck? That's weird. I have figured out how to tolerate the bike. Um, That's weird. Let me see if I could fix that. Okay, I didn't really do anything, but it fixed itself. Okay. It's understandable. The, the, the bike is very unwieldy, and it's weird to figure out, so I don't, I don't blame you at all. Wait, what's in Juliet's room? I never really checked that out. Oh, it's just her stuff. Quadruple the flavor. Chock full of fruit. Hmm. Oh, is this where we can actually read? Oh, we could see what his, uh, what foods he likes to eat, right? Why can we not? No, they're not showing it this time for whatever reason. Okay. All right, I guess we'll just go to the stadium. First, we, we went to Shinobu's high school. Now we're going to uh, destroy stadium to fight Dr. Peace. The storm at San Romero High. St yep. Fax says, in general, I'm not big on vehicular traversal in open world slash sandbox games. Oh, really? Like, like Grand Theft Auto? I mean, it's really bare bones in No More Heroes 1, but, uh...
There, there's... Julia. Oh, I need sure. to switch to Vulcan just, mode. Just being ahead. I forgot already. But there's a lot of cool things about being ahead. First of all, I can put you in a bag and sneak you into movies for free. All right, that hardly makes up for... Carpal tunnel syndrome? You're immune. And it's totally cool. I'm like the only girl with a decapitated head. For a boy is that a cool thing? I don't want to be a fashion accessory, Juliet. This is my life. I... Is that rain? Uh-oh. Okay. Um, a flying viking ship. That's chill. But yeah, there, there's strengths and weaknesses fact to, uh... Hello, Skrillings! <laughs> no More Heroes 1 and No More Heroes 2, the way they do or don't have a sandbox. No More Heroes 2 is, like, a lot more, uh... Trunicated? Truncated? Tasty treat for you here, eh, you so we went from a punk rocker to like a like a Nordic black metal guy. Scandinavian, I guess, metal. Another dark purveyor. So I'm guessing that each one of them has like a different genre. Wait, what is she doing up there? My big sister Cordelia. She's a zombie hunter too. Really? What's up? This is normal. She has like a like a mullet. Turn offs talking in movie theaters. Hey, Me too. Cordelia. What's up? See you in a few. Right now, I'm gonna go kick some zombie ass. Oh yeah. Oh, her birthday I'm present. Is that one? F that one flying ship from Norse mythology. Nog Noglefar? Oh, okay. Looked familiar. Sorry, hopefully Vulcan mode will trigger for the next God. cutscene. It's made of toenails and fingernails. Hmm. I didn't need to know that, but now I do. And it can't be unknown. Ten hot, ten butt fuck. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Vulcan mode, why aren't you saving me today? Did I not did I not save it? No, yeah, it should be Vulcan. Whoops. There we go. Hey, online ghost. Uh, this game has great camera angles. Sometimes. Ah, uh, why is it freezing up suddenly? Don't tell me it's because of like a rain effect or something. Hang on a second. Are you, are you chilling? Are you gonna work? Hmm. This is weird. I don't know why it's freezing up suddenly. Maybe it... Ah! Press R1 to start rain chainsaw dash. I almost said rainbow dash. Pick up... Check out this new trick, Nick. It's called the chainsaw dash. Let's go! And you just start running? Oh my god. Oh, it's compiling shaders, that's why. 
once all the shaders have been compiled, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. So we run it, we go up here. There we go. Whoops. Ow. Oh man, I don't know why this part's getting all freezy suddenly. If this game came out today, do you think Julia would have a 2P costume? I mean... Maybe 2B would have a Juliet costume, you ever think about that one? Was that a common thing though? Did a lot of games start doing that? Whoops. Man, I don't know why this is... This one's freezing up so much. Let's see, is there anything I could do here? Let's see, uh... I don't know what I would change. Fall Guys has a 2B costume, really. I wouldn't have guessed that. Wait, I think I fixed it. There we go. I turned something down really low, but the audio is gone now, isn't it? God damn it. The whole point of rebooting it was to get the audio back. Now I don't know if I should just reboot it again since it's still at the start of the level or should I just play it through silently? I should reboot it, huh? Ah, uh, what a pain. Okay, so at least I know what I think I need to do to get it to run better. I heard a police siren outside. Affectionately referred to as Two Bean. That's funny. Speaking of 2B, actually, your Street Fighter stream the other day gave me the fighting game itch, so I picked up Soul Calibur 6 on a whim. Oh, really? I Oh, I forgot that 2B's in that randomly. Isn't that weird? It, it's, it's weird. I never heard of that. Like, I hadn't heard of that until someone brought it up recently. But I guess at the same time, I, it's not like I've really been keeping up with Soul Calibur. Because I only ever had Soul Calibur 1 and 2 and any other one I might have played would have would have been at someone else's house so yeah I was really out of the loop but I remember hearing about Darth Vader and Yoda being in I think 3 so I'm surprised I didn't hear about 2B being in in uh, another one so random 
I guess that character must be really, really popular, right? Probably even like, she probably ascends the popularity of the game itself, I'm guessing. Because I've seen like people like post pictures of that character a lot. They also have the main dude from Samurai Showdown and Geralt from The Witcher. Oh, wow. Hey, it's cool that they're picking characters from like different, like what I would consider not to be like really mainstream games. Or maybe they are, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm not as... Samurai Showdown, I know. The Witcher, I guess, probably is really popular, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's... It's... Com comparable to something like Mario or Halo, I don't know. And then even Nier Automata, as popular as maybe the character is, it still seems like something that's kind of niche compared to other things. Yes. The Witcher is extremely mainstream. It has a Netflix show. Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay, so now we're in here. I'm going to remember in advance. Boom, boom. Turn this to this. Turn this to that. Apply and save. Okay. Hopefully things run well now. Oh, last checkpoint. Wait a minute. Maybe this game auto saves more than I realize and we can just stop it other points Julia I'm not sure I can do this just being ahead we were able to skip it that's good the Prime Minister of Poland gave Obama a copy of the Witcher 2 what ten, but, ten, but, fuck. okay apparently I am just out of the uh, the loop then Oh, the yellow fuel canister is for overheating. Yeah, it's running way better now. It's called the Chainsaw Dash. Wait, stop! It makes me dizzy. Ah, watch the eyes. Hey, three in a row. Oh, damn it. Sorry. Literally, all I have to do is like open OBS, like click on OBS, and then it fixes it. It's like it's just such a the the fact this is working right now is a Frankenstein situation. I, I assure you. My bad. Thank you for uh, telling me that though. I read that was such monotone. We're not seeing the game. Oh, I didn't realize we would just keep going through. Well, you have your priorities straight. Ooh. That's cool. The explosion's gonna ruin everything, though. Somebody's groggy. You don't say. New thing for the first time, so we had to compile more shaders, and you know how that goes. Hey, they didn't get groggy. They just got, like, stunned. Or I guess these zombies didn't get groggy. Oh, well. Never mind. Because usually groggy means they, they're dizzy. Explosions are such a cliche. This game is full of explosions, Juliet. You can't say that. Our quarterback is so delicious. Juliet, your boyfriend's literally hanging off of you right now. You undead a holes are disgraced in the San Andreas football uniform. Hey, that one was looking up your skirt. Kill him. <laughs> that one was looking up your skirt. Kill him. I just cut off the legs of this like extra strong zombie. This that shows him who's boss. Oh, I could have just did that. Apparently. Oh, yeah, 
Oh, now this is the baseball team. You know, I gotta say, Juliet uh, and Nick, they do fit together pretty well. I honestly assumed he was just gonna be some, like, meathead dummy. Not that he's particularly smart, but I don't know, they... they... Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of blue barrels here I could have been using. That probably would have been a good idea. I hate it when everyone turns into zombies, but it's also kind of fun because I get to do stuff like jump on a fire truck. <laughs> it is fun. True. It makes me forget that most of my friends are dead. See, see, they they just fit together. It works. Drooling. You're drooling? You need a, a napkin, perhaps? If he's literally going to be attached to, at the hip to our protagonist, he better make for a good traveling companion. Yeah. Yeah, like, you think he'd be, like, annoying, but he, he just kind of makes funny comments along with Juliet. Be careful, Juliet. This place is falling apart. And he's like, he's, he's God, unex shopping. unexpectedly reasonable. Um, uh, what should I get? I don't know yet. Any new skills to get? Nick shake. Oh, I never did you do the Nick roulette or whatever the heck it was. Can't afford it anyways. What should I get? Final chainsaw power attack. Can't afford that. That's expensive. Maelstrom spin. That sounds kind of sick. Click, click. Lollyocopter. Imagine being decapitated has a way of humbling a man. True. What should I get? Um. Hmm. I kind of want to get the cheerleader, cheerleader chain and see what if I can make get? zombies groggy easier. So yes, I think, that's it. yeah. So I think I'm actually gonna. Yeah, it says get them groggy more quickly. Okay, that's what I want. Because then you could set them, you could set them up for combos. Click, click. Okay, we can't afford anything else, so I'm just gonna keep going. I think we have a lot of lollipops at the moment. Anything this way? No. Okay. Whoa. It's like backtrack, rabies. Hold on, victim dude. I'm coming to help. I have collected 28 lava cob balls. Jeez. That's that's four power-ups right there. And you're 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 like what rank eight right now? Girlfriend. Yeah, see what having a girlfriend does for you? She, she becomes a chainsaw wielding zombie hunter. Hey, the fact Juliet still wants to stay with Nick despite him only being a head. Blue? No, green. Awesome. I love learning about you. Was that a Monty Python reference? <laughs> okay, and then they added <laughs> and then they added to the to the end of it. Yeah, I mean you uh Travis touchdown? What? 
But yeah, um, in fact, obviously you could pick whatever power-ups you want, but uh, I would definitely recommend those two in particular. The, the sprinting one, and then the one where it's like a downward strike. And I'll tell you exactly why the downward strike is so useful. If you hit an opponent, like any basic enemy with the downward strike, even like the stronger ones generally, they'll fall to the ground. And then you can just walk over and and press A and, and finish them off. So that's really good. And you could knock down multiple enemies too. So that's really, really useful for just quickly killing off those basic enemies that have a lot more health. The only downside is it drains a lot of battery, so you have to be careful with that, but I use the downward strike for like a lot of side assassination gigs to earn money a lot faster. I think that's rather irrelevant considering my situation. I don't know, we could take a skin sample and put it in a petri dish and use magic to grow a baby. Well, maybe. Cool! There's a 50% chance it will be a cannibal. What? Okay. It's a little weird. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of little things in No More Heroes that, if you know, it, it can make the your playthrough a lot more, run a lot more smoothly. I like how the bodies materialized outside the gate after the fact. It's pretty funny. Gosh, he stabs him right in the ass. The 5 meter draw distance on the balls does not make it easy. Is that what it is? Yeah, you can't just look them up on the map. Like, the whole map. There's so many of these guys. Alright, let's see. <laughs> yeah, what am I gonna do? Say no. Yeah, poor Nick, he oh, doesn't awesome. have much of a choice. Awesome, Nick. You're the best. Let me Aw, she's so supportive. Juliet. I'll just raise my fist and... Ah! I mean, the fact that he can temporarily possess zombie bodies maybe means he might be able to get a new body. So later. how long have you been a zombie hunter? Forever. I killed my first zombie at six months old, with a sharpened rattle. Wow. I guess she was literally born to be a zombie hunter. Okay. Good to know. I see the cat from a tree. I saved a cat from a tree. Why do these firemen zombies have fire attacks? Like, pyro attacks, this is silly. Unless this is Fahrenheit 451, this doesn't make sense. Oh, we really do stun people faster with that new uh, skill, though, so that's good that we got that. Ooh, the extra special Lavakov chime is when you collected seven. Yup! Da -da 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 -da. Were you confused why that was only happening very sparingly? I'm drooling! Alright, where are we going? Wait, not this way. Oh, out the window. Yeah, it's a it's a good little chime, so you know that you have enough to get a just makes me feel better about myself. Shopping makes me feel better about myself. What is this? Time for Chainsaw Dash again! Drive carefully, okay? So delicious! He's so thoughtful. Drive carefully. God, I love shopping. Alright, maybe we can get another power up. 
Um, how about more health? There it is, there it is. Ten percent increase, that ain't bad. Crunchy monkey cereal. Okay, so that whatever the item is that increases whatever specific stat it changes depending on uh how far you've gotten, I guess. Why don't we try the Nick ticket? Check this out. Try your luck by Alright, we'll we'll try that. I'm I'm not even really sure what it does, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. This is cool, I like the chainsaw dash. Whoop, hang on. Don't wanna miss this. Whatever it may be. Whoops, I hit R1. Oh, it's because you use R1 to run in Shadows of the Dam, probably. Julia, you have to be careful. Wait, is that one? Oh no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. I thought I wasted the meter, but I didn't. I'll show you another trick since they taught me, Nick. It's called the big jump. Hold on. Hold on with what? Damn, that is a big jump. Zombie basketball. Again. Time you're killing of zombies. How many points can you rack up? Oh, I'll, I'll rack up points, all right. Gotta take out the one that's blocking. Those guys suck. That's a basket. Oh, uh, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm using the meter. I don't give a damn. Whoops. Long button. Where'd all those rainbow thingies when you cut a zombie in half come from? From awesome. Okay, that was a waste of meter. I thought there was going to be more strong ones nearby. Fantastic. Ah, you jerk. One minute left. Ah, stop. Ah, the strong one's like really strong here. There we go. Good. Wow, what a turnaround. The zombies are getting slaughtered. Incredible game, Julian. Imagine your, Can't wait your sports you team being called the zombies. Um We have five lollipops so yeah, we should just use one. Why not? Oh, I bet you when you level up you get an extra lollipop. Oh, well perfect time to use it. Just picked up and we just replaced it immediately. Oh, that star. I still don't know what those stars do exactly, but I think it fills your meter up. Another big jump. Hold on with your teeth, Nick. Okay. Pop it. Hold on with your teeth. Ow, you bit my butt. Sorry. Ow. You did say to hold on to with his teeth. What else could he hold on to? That'd be sick. You'd have an excuse to do the thriller dance all the time. Wait, what was that in reference to? Oh, if your if your sports team were the zombies, right? You're right. They would do that at halftime. <laughs> Running zombies? <laughs> oh, fucking stupid. Yeah, what kind of idiot would come up with that? <laughs> Dude, they're 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 like shitting on the movies that have running zombies. But then again, this game has running zombies sometimes too, so. Oh that's a mirror. I knew that.
Wait a minute, you could charge your attack? Am I crazy? Oh no, those are just weaker enemies. For a second I thought I was like... No, I think you can charge your sword a little bit. Who is that? Tornado Grandma? Why is there a Tornado Grandma? You know what, let's just... You know what, let's just... I'm dying and really fat. That is, that was the quote. Wow. Truly profound dialogue. What the dick? Good die, zombie scum. Ready? Okay, I'm dead with a. I probably shouldn't have wasted that. DD decapitate. U G L Y. Wake up. It's time to die. Oh no. My squad has joined the zombies. Agnes used to be so hot. I. Now she has an intestine coming out of her vagina. Ugh. Ugh. I don't think you should be talking about how so-and-so used to be so hot as you're attached to your current girlfriend. Unless they're just comfortable talking about how hot other people are, I guess that's fair. Oh no! Stop! Here. Hit the correct buttons during rewards when using a vault. Okay, box. that was sad killing my friends, but also so fun. Such an optimist. <laughs> Reward is yeah. retarded. Come on, try it again. Yeah. Gay. What? Oh, you keep pressing it? Cool. I don't know, that was weird. I don't know. There's a chop shop. Honestly, what does Nick have left to lose here? I guess I guess nothing. God, I love shopping. The fact she still likes him works out pretty well for him. Oh, I forgot to use a Nick ticket. Let's just give it a second. There we go. There we go. Come on. You could do it. You can do it. What should I get? Um, oh, I was hoping I could have sworn it said there was new stuff in here, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, we could just what increase our health permanently again. Screw it. Let's do that. Check this out. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Fruit poot juice. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, we can't afford it. Never mind. Click, click. We were six short. All right, we'll we'll save the rest then. Oh, pick it's up the Cordelia. Phone. Just a tip, sis. But you're moving around too much as you hunt zombies. From a distance, use your homing attack. When they get close, rush in for the kill. It's kind of common hunter knowledge, but you know. They never explain how to do the homing attack. Maybe they're gonna do it right now. How do I do the homing attack? Nope. Nope. There's, there's gotta be on the, like a menu, right? Homing attacks, homing attacks. Bad Mr. Frosty Julie hit Starling. Um Star Nick Toss. Toss Nick around and make zombies groggy. Okay, I didn't know about this. Um 
Aww. I you, baby. I think that's sweet. Nick -toss. Did I just waste this because there's no enemies nearby? <laughs> yup, I sure did. Well, that would have probably been epic if there was a bunch of enemies around. I guess I'll buy another Nick ticket now that I know what that does. That could potentially be really good. At least they're not that expensive. Okay, then. Okay, let's let us. I missed the crime. Nick, it would be really cool if I could implant an MP3 player in your forehead. A boyfriend and an iPod all in one. More room in my purse. You realize that's completely degrading, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, L1 plus square for homing attack. Do they just mean lock on? I don't understand. Because L1 plus square isn't. All L1 just locks on. And then square is just your melee to try to stun them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get how that's a homing attack. And, uh, holding square doesn't seem to do anything either. Uh, maybe it is, but you just can't tell. I don't know. But yeah, I pre uh, I'm sure you looked it up and that's what it said, but I don't, I must be doing something wrong. Oh. There we go. Oh well. Oh, feels great to have legs again, even if they are really slow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nick, you feel it? You feel it? You're gonna kill them. Oh my god, Nick. That was so hot. Believe it or not to hear, this actually isn't a clay fighter game. I know they look very similar. Oh, I hate this. Apparently pom pom attacks are homing attacks. I don't know, maybe the range is crap without upgrades. Hmm. Oh, you're singing the clay fighters theme. Clay fighters, clay clay fighters, hit them, smack them, right. they don't care. They're right that lightning doesn't strike twice. But freezing sure the does. Twice. Twice Jesus. Oh, I ran out of uh, More stuff. More firefighters to the rescue. You know it's raining, right? I'm sure you will rescue everyone. Why is lightning striking continuously? Is it coming from the Viking ship? It's very concerning. I should use lollipops, we have so many. Can't get this Katy Perry song out of my head. 
Katy Perry song. Oh, the freaking music. God damn it. It's because that probably his dialogue was mixing with all the other sounds that were happening. Damn it. So now we're not going to hear what the... Uh, What the next boss is going to sound like. The thing is, this is one of those games where it's not very clear about where and when it saves, besides between stages, so I never feel comfortable quitting in the middle of a stage. I feel like games should really be clear about the save status. Uh, for that reason. Normally it wouldn't be that big of a, a deal, but it's just because the stages are like pretty long. So many of these lava cob balls are just, do you have the patience to walk down this long alleyway? Probably safe to assume a shop is a checkpoint. I really don't know. I mean, if it is, then that'd be good because I could reboot this and get the audio back next time I get to a shop yeah I mean that's the that's fact that's why I said getting the sprinting Lavakov is probably your first priority whoa what is this is that a chainsaw gun Kudrilli is the best big sister ever Aim and shoot at the approaching zombies, and it's raining now. She's not dressed for the rain at all. Um, L2 to aim, R2 to fire, okay. Oh no, the controller makes me walk forward <laughs> when I'm holding L2. That's okay, I can just keep backing up if I have to. Are they going to pop up anywhere else? Bottom of the night, Juliet Starling at bat. Zombie Nick must run the bases. Make sure he gets to home plate. Okay. Whoops. Keep going, Nick. Come on. Enough cheering. Nick, please. <laughs> Come on. You're almost there. There we go. Wait, does it need to keep going around? Ooh. Cool. Come on. I'm assuming we can't shoot him by accident. Why does my phone keep turning off? I need it on so I can see the comments. Hang on real quick. There we go, these cursed controllers, yeah. I mean, it's mostly just the PS4 controller. It's, it's old, it's my brother's. There's a reason he left it behind. <laughs> My brother's thinking about either getting a PS5 or an Xbox, whatever the hell the new one's called, Series S or whatever. I don't like that the two different versions have different names. It's confusing. It's like Series S and Series something else, right? Did we win? 
Yay, we won. Zombie baseball is its own Babe Ruth, and she's a real babe. Okay. I think the ship went over to the school's unrealistically gigantic swimming pool. Okay. Right, let's see if we see any save around here. Or I could check. I could just Google and see. Cordelia wants to buy a motorcycle. Series X and Series S, which why did they have to choose two letters that sound so similar? Right. And it doesn't even have like a base name, but like, I guess the word series is the... When does Lollipop Chainsaw save? Okay, let's see. Uh, it, it auto saves for you. Someone said I reached the first zombie boss. When I decided to turn the game off, the level started over. Um, It does, but there seems to be a bug where if you quit to the title screen, it can drop your checkpoint. Best thing to do is just quit using the PS button after a checkpoint. I can't really do that. I don't like the fact that the auto saving is already sketchy and then I'm also emulating this in a sketchy stability. All right, well, we'll probably better not to risk it. We'll just keep going with the silence. I'll start playing some music again. I mean, this is working about as good as, as, uh, as Shadows of the Damned was, which is as much as I could ask for. might be good. It looks like it gives us a bunch of money or something. Um, we'll get this, why not? X, square, 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 square. That's pretty cool. This probably does not match the game at all. <laughs> oh well. There we go. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. We got a sniper. Messed up in fraction. Block these uppercuts. Hey, it's our sister. There's something on you. Yeah, that's her boyfriend. Hey, he's cute. Thanks. The whole no body thing is cool. I wouldn't have to worry about gaining weight. Food would just fall out of my neck. Oh yeah, so lucky. And I want to be as gross and fat as I am now. Oh, you're... you guys need to chill. Play Guile's theme on an infinite loop. I have Ken's theme. I personally think that Ken has the superior theme, but Guile does have a good theme song too. Bay Bay, Scray leans onward. This game having perverted things never. Cute head boyfriend whose name I forget. 
Oh, I guess we're at the boss fight, so at least we're almost over. We're almost done. The silence. You got a lot of gall setting foot on my ship, Stelpa. Getting a little seasick. Alright, boys. Alright. Dude, he has a drum set. The other dude had a, a microphone. This guy has a drum set. So not only are they different genres of music, but they also have different instruments. That's awesome. Oh, this game is rated M. Yes, definitely. So anyone who probably shouldn't be watching this, uh, probably don't watch this. I mean, obviously, I can't really, uh... Ugh. I can't really monitor every single person who joins the stream, but just for people to know, for their own personal safety. His name's Vikey? Is that just like a cute pet name for Vi- off of Viking? Vikey? Point one, get it on. Five, four, three, two, one. I mean, I was playing M-rated games when I was pretty young. Uh, but, you know, it all depends on well the fact that you could leapfrog off of bosses is actually pretty cool you wouldn't expect that to work because this guy's so much bigger than the normal enemies oh no he just got fried what is that bullets oh we can use our gun i thought that that was just for that one part i didn't realize we could just use it whenever that's awesome. Well, he got cut in half. I'm sure he's done, right? He's not going to magically recombine. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. Now he's more powerful than ever. We've made a mistake. Oh, his legs are gone now, actually. Um, hang on, let me read some stuff. Uh, this guy looks like a reject lost Viking. Did I tell you about the time in my local game store when the owner had to refuse to sell the original Mortal Kombat because it was technically still rated M? Wow, that's funny. That's, yeah, that's funny if you think about it. Like, I feel like most people, stores probably want to enforce that just because, like, the games are so old. They're not going to be n nearly as bad as anything that could come out today. They should be able to play the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat because that's... It's sweat instead of blood. Because Nintendo... And then they, and then the Genesis version sold a lot better and got better reviewed, so then they let blood in Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. Now we're just gonna have to worry about even more body parts. Dude, I like how he has the whole bear head just attached to him. He doesn't just have the, uh, the cloth. I feel the power of the gods in me blood. Why is his head so big? Oh no, he ate his own body because reasons. Okay. Well, now this is useful, ain't it? Oh, never mind. This is like balloon fight music while I'm fighting a, a giant decapitated Viking head. It's so silly. You know what? Why don't I use my super thing? Oh, that was a bad time to use it. Now, I, now he's gone. 
Ah, oh, come on, get some hits in. There we go. Alright, we were able to utilize it somewhat. Oh no, we utilize it pretty well. We, we got a good amount of hits in there. It is pretty metal. What am I doing? I have my... He's open. Oh, finish! This is it. This boss fight went uh, a lot faster than the first one. Maybe not a lot faster, but... but he's doing freaking special beam cannons out of his mouth now. Kamehameha waves. Oops, we just gotta get close. He slides around like a hockey puck. Okay. Hey, Viking Metal Rules. Impossible, I can't be beaten by a little girl. I'm a warrior. Well, she's not a little girl. She's a, a powerful zombie hunter. I hear Viking brains are good for the complexion. The blood looks very interesting in this game. It, it's almost like a fabric y look to it. Ooh! So the bear was still alive, too. Hey, he just said the same thing as what the last guy said. Yeah, this I, this bot the other boss fight felt like it had more forms to it or something, or maybe it just this boss gave you more opportunities to deal damage than the other one did. All right, stage two. We did better than the last one. We might even get a B this time. Let's see. Yeah, we got a B. Sweet. Because we didn't use any continues. Awesome. All right. That'll probably get a, be a good way to take a break. Wow, we're actually playing Lollipop Chainsaw. Did, didn't it seem like that was going to be possible. And then somehow we, we made it work. You know, still got some problems here and there, but it's working. You know what? It's, it's a decent game. Like, the gameplay isn't my favorite, but it does get better once you get more moves it starts working more cleanly um, it's fun the characters aren't as one-dimensional as I thought it might have been just in time for me getting the final lava cup you're kidding you, you did not just get all the lava cup balls right now are you are you for real in fact, you're a madman. You are a madman. That's the case. Alright, well. That was fun. Tomorrow Mike's probably gonna come over, so we'll probably finish Twilight Princess. Maybe Sunday I'll f end up finishing Lollipop Chainsaw. Um... And then Monday will be Travis Strikes again. I'll start doing the playthrough on that. And I'll try to finish that by either Wednesday or Thursday. And then Travis, oh, gee, uh, No More Heroes 3, which comes out Friday. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream it Friday. I really, really hope I am, but I don't know. Depends on when my rental shows up. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Thanks for the patience with all the the uh, simulator issues and have a great weekend. I'll catch you next time. Some music.